So I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was looking at everything and I, I didn't have a clear picture. I just studied. Guys, you gotta want this. Literally every second that I waste, I regret like if I'm, that's how you gotta be guys. When I'm traveling on a train or a bus, I don't look out the window. I'm on my phone and I'm writing down and looking through my notes. So it's another thing, note down everything that, that comes to your mind, note it down. Study warriors, study conquerors, study gladiators. It brings tears to my eyes when I watch these people because this stuff matters to me. This is how I went from a drug addict to building a five figure business in three months. Hello, my name is Max Turner. Some of you may know me as Life Too Lavish. Some of you are seeing my face for the first time right now. But if you clicked on this video, then I'm guessing you want to start a business. You have big dreams. You want to be rich. You want to bang the most prettiest girls in the world. But listen, if you are arrogant, click off this video right now. If you're someone who wants to unlock their fullest potential, watch this video to the very end. Now, I'm not saying I'm a millionaire, but I've took the first steps into generating wealth. A few months ago, I was doing things like this. And doing things like this. I don't my bro right now. This shit will have you Hanging around with the wrong people. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Now the first thing I would advise before tackling anything is to look at the people you have around you. I posted this picture on Instagram. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a man is to look at the men he has around him. This is a quote by Machiavellian which I reframed, you are the sum of the five people you hang around with. So if you're hanging around with a bunch of weed heads and drug addicts, you're going to be a drug addict. If you're hanging around with uh, a bunch of entrepreneurs, you're going to be an entrepreneur. You see what I'm saying? So think about this right now. Who's the type of people you hang around? Do you want them? Do you want to be like them? If you don't, then you got to cut them off. This is the first step to unlocking your fullest potential. You need your surroundings to be clean, clear. I cut everyone off I knew. You got to play it smart. These guys may be your best friends from young, but if they're not on the same dream as you, if they're not on the same level as you, you got to make your differences now. Otherwise you're going to be trapped for the rest of your life. These guys might be your best friends. So you want to play it smoothly. You want to go full MIA, full monk mode. You don't want to just literally say to them, oh, I don't want to hang out with you no more. Because guys, they're still our friends, right? We still want to keep mutual respect for each other. Just know that we're on different things right now. So guys, the first method is to surround yourself with like-minded people. If you don't have any like-minded people around you, just go monk mode completely, disappear. This is exactly what I done. This is exactly how I started. It gives you a, a wide range of your life. You can analyze from different points of view and you know where you need to go. It's gonna give you more time as well. You're gonna have time to focus on your goals. Now you're at this point where you've cut everyone off. It is now time to fix your mental health. You need to be working extremely hard right now. Your dreams, your goals, your purpose, all of this starts to come through. Like as soon as I cut everyone off and just went on a full self-improvement, focusing on myself to be a better person. I didn't even know I'd be here right now. I didn't know I would have a fitness course out right now. I didn't know I'd fall in love with the gym. I didn't know any of this was gonna happen. It just happens along the way. And stop trying so hard. Think of your dreams and think, how can I achieve these dreams? You're gonna think, all right, cool, I need to get a job right now. So this is what I did. I thought very hard about my dreams. I thought I always want, I always want to be rich. I always want to be that guy. When I was in this stage, I was thinking, I need money. I don't have money, I need money. I found a decent nine to five job, which is all right. And I invested in my business. I worked my ass off first before I even started this business by thinking, oh, I need a career. So I didn't even think of, at first, I wanted, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. First, I just wanted to make money. I wanted to be stable. Stable, you get a, a job like everyone, you know what I mean? But if you want to take it to the next level and build an empire, you invest this money from your nine to five into your own business. So guys, that's the first step. Distance yourself from everyone. Focus really hard on your goals, your dreams. And guys, once you once you found your job, you're making money. All of this counts. I can't lie. One of the reasons I've changed is working a nine to five. This may sound mad, but when you work a nine to five, you wake up early. So if you're waking up early, you start getting into a habit, a morning routine. Before I worked, I was literally staying up to like 5 a.m. 
and then waking up at like 3 p.m. This messes with your head. When I started working hard, I distanced myself. I got a nine to five. Automatically, I started self-improvement. That's literally, you're making money, you're work, waking up early, bow, you're already started. And once you're doing that, guys, once you've got your job, you're waking up early. Now, obviously at this time, I'm still, I'm still drinking and stuff. You want to be still drinking. This is just basic, sort what of normal people do. Everyone works, you know what I mean? But yeah, guys, I'm still drinking at this point. But one thing that takes it to the next level is going to the gym. When I entered the gym, everything changed. I had money to fund the gym because I was working. So I got a gym membership. You're starting to feel good. You want to get your body in check. Got my gym membership and that's it. Everyone needs to go to the gym. This is going to help even more. As soon as I got into the gym, I started realizing like, I didn't even want to drink no more. I came back from the gym and I was feeling good. I was feeling like, yeah, man, I've done something. I've, I've worked on my health. Health is the next step, guys. Once you've got your your job and you're making money, you've distanced yourself from people. Health is the next step to unlocking your fullest potential. Health is the most important thing in the world. You want to live to 100, you got to start acting like it. You can't be going out every night. Guys, this stuff will catch up with you. It will catch up with you. Next step is gym. Training your mind, discipline. This is where it comes, this is where everything comes into place. This is how I went from a drug addict to building a five-figure business in three months. This is serious, guys. You need to start applying these lessons. You need to start applying things I'm telling you in this video if you want to be a better person, if you want to unlock your fullest potential. After that first day of the gym, I ended up quitting my addiction of alcohol. I'm focusing on my health. Alcohol is not benefiting my health at all, so why am I going to drink it? Bowed, X that off the list. I quit weed before, I was doing vapes and cigarettes as well, so... I had to quit that as well. Nicotine, very hard to quit. From, from all the drugs I've taken, nicotine is probably the hardest to quit. If you're here, you're here for a reason. It means you want it, you want to change. So like you see people who are smoking weed or taking drugs forever, they don't want it enough. Leave them be, leave them be. But if you're here, you want to change, it's time to change. At this stage where you're quitting addictions, your mind starts to improve. This is where I found out my next move. By applying this, I found out my next move. I realized I'm gonna do uh, insane transformation. Yeah, I'm gonna get abs fast. When I get abs fast, I'm gonna show the world how to get abs fast. That's what I thought, man. And I did it. I was thinking, I've never had abs before. And you know what? Let me get abs, let's just do it. I'll be honest, it wasn't like that. I was like, sometime when I was in the gym, I thought, oh, let me just ace this out real quick and see how fast I can do it. Then I thought of, making a YouTube video, but I was documenting it anyway. So you're gonna make your plans, your next steps are all gonna come together. And there's one thing that's gonna help these next steps is building a system. You need to build a system around this to improve you even more. So if you guys know the typical no fat, meditation, reading, no sugars, journaling, all of this guys is systems. You're applying stuff and you're saving yourself time and energy, systems. Saving yourself time and energy. Doing this is gonna get you ahead of the game. Once you find your where you wanna be, your plan, there's gonna be competitors, right? You gotta find a way to get ahead of them. You gotta be smart. You gotta want this, guys. For my 90-day program, thousands of thousands and thousands of hours of research. Literally, I was studying every day, so many things. Journaling is gonna help you. You're journaling every day, you're journaling your life, you're journaling your job, making money, you're going to the gym, you're becoming sober, you're journaling your plans. It's gonna help you every day. Reading, reading. You're gonna read something that you want to learn. If you're reading property books and you wanna get into property, if that's gonna be your plan, then you're learning about your skill. You're investing in yourself. This is an asset. Books is an asset. This was March. So on the 26th of March, guys, I was still an alcoholic then. So this is when I started this transformation. But look, first thing I wrote in this journal was different types of investing in property. But I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was looking at everything and I, I, didn't have a, I didn't have a clear picture. I just studied. Literally, I had rent to rent, R RTR, shared ownership, SO, deal packaging, DP, shared accommodation, houses in multiple. I was learning loads of property things for a while, literally. But yeah, the perks, systems and perks. Like I said, journaling in no fat meditation. When you meditate, it's gonna give you a peace of mind. But the one thing that is very important about meditating is that when you meditate, you're focusing on your breath. And when you focus on your breath and get rid of the thoughts coming into your head and you're focusing on your breath, you're, you're gaining control of yourself. 
when you meditate, you're building your focus. And this focus that you're building is going to lead you to focus on anything that you do, whether it's going to the gym every day or it's focusing on your work. It all adds up, guys. Apply this meditation, journaling, reading, no fat. No fat's going to just, I'll be real, boost your testosterone, give you energy. This is what I done to change. I'm still learning every day. Every day I'm trying to unlock my fullest potential. And that's what you guys need to do. If you're in a situation where your parents don't have money or someone, you lost someone, you cannot be sitting at home like a loser, bro. You gotta start acting like you're the man. You gotta start putting in the work. Music, I used to love music. Even now, like maybe I listen to sound now. I like sounds and I don't even listen to music no more because I used to love drill. And when I used to listen to drill, I used to come violent. I don't want to be like that. No more, so I have to cut that out as well. Like I said, going out with friends, drugs, party, guys, you gotta want this. Literally every second that I waste, I regret. Like if I'm, that's how you gotta be, guys. When I'm traveling on a train or a bus, I don't look out the window. I'm on my phone and I'm writing down, I'm looking through my notes. So it's another thing, note down everything that, that comes to your mind, note it down. And then when you're on the train or something, just go through and recap. Recap, that's something I'm learning right now. It's good, man. Study warriors, study conquerors, study gladiators. It brings tears to my eyes when I watch these people because this stuff matters to me. But yeah, guys, I know I'm, I'm going a bit crazy. But yeah, man, this is how I went from a drug addict to making a five-figure business in three months. This is me 90 days ago, and this is me now. If you want to get results like this fast, I run a 90-day transformation program where we get our clients results like this in eight weeks. And this in six weeks. This is serious, guys. Why listen to the guy who's been jacked up for five to 10 years when I was literally like you 90 days ago? 90 days ago, I was like this, guys. Now look, click the link and don't miss this opportunity. Sign up now.